Okay, so hello there. My name is Ismail. So this is part five or six of uh, our Blender 2.8 training series. Uh, so to make this training series a bit more interesting, what I'm going to do is uh, uh, explain what uh, the different tools and how Blender works by uh, creating uh, different objects. So every tutorial will be uh, looking at how to model uh, different uh, objects. So yeah, today we're going to be looking at how to edit meshes and curves by creating a USB uh, cable. Yeah, so let's go to Google and um, let's uh, search for USB images. US, USB cable. I think, let's see, let's see which one would be better to work with here. Should we go with this? So I guess I can also show you how to import the image as a reference image in your uh, in Blender. So let's just clear this and uh, we'll go to here. Then downloads, just give it a moment. I will also, I guess, can use this time to activate uh, this shortcut so that you can see the different shortcuts. Uh, I don't know, I think I have a lot of files here. That's why this is taking long, but I uh, have this, so I will just drag. If you just drag and drop and uh, it will be added to Blender, so. Uh, but sometimes if you have your view rotated at an angle like this and uh, drag and drop an image uh, like uh, this here, can see it will be rotated at an angle like that so what you can do is just go to view or maybe because I have this shortcut uh, there you may not have this here so you just hit N to bring up these options here and then <coughs> or you or there will be a plus or this arrow here just click on that and uh, you can go under rotation and clear out uh, that rotation Oh, you just you, you can also clear out the rotation by hitting Alt R. That will clear out all these values. And if you want to clear out uh, the rotations, the location here uh, to be one zero zero, you just hit Alt G, uh, because G is the shortcut for uh, moving the object. So Alt G clear out clears out that uh, act th any location. Uh, uh, values here. Uh, so scale is the shortcut is S. So let's select an object, scale it up. You can see now the values have changed. Have changed. Alt S will clear out uh, those values. So scale is uh, dimensions is locked uh, to scale. So when you clear out uh, the scale, it will also clear out uh, the dimension. So there is no shortcut for this. Okay, so we want to make this USB cable. So let's clear this out. We can move this to the side here and uh, start working on this here. So to begin, we've, we need to first begin with the different shapes that, you, that we see here. So we can see that uh, this can be, we can use a curve uh, to create this here. And uh, we can use a cube to create uh, this kind of object here, uh, this kind of shape here. So let's begin by adding a, a cube for this shape. But we can see this is squished a bit in the Z direction. So we can scale this in the Z direction a bit to have it maybe this side. Uh, you can also move it here so that we can scale it down to fit uh, that size a bit. Let's move. Uh, just so that we see all the objects clearly, we can turn on our random colors in the shading. And uh, there's also this uh, option, cavity here, uh, that makes the edges a bit whitened so that they can stand out. I think it's also, it's also, it also nice, it's also nice uh, when it, when you're working in this view. So, 
But the problem when you have this reference image here, uh, you, you run into the problem that uh, if you want to work on this side of this uh, object, then this is also rotated. So uh, Blender has different view areas, like you see different panels, uh, like you see uh, this workspace is already subdivided into different uh, panels. You can see this is the 3D view. Uh, where we see the different objects. Uh, we can also see down here we have the timeline uh, panel that lets us, when we are working with animation, we can play, uh, play back the animation using this timeline. Uh, but uh, we, on the side, we have uh, the outliner uh, that lets you, that lists all the objects you have in, the, in your scene. You can see we have the camera, we have a cube, we have um, the image, we have the empty image, we have the light, and uh, every time you select on that, you can see the object is also selected in our 3D space. We also have uh, the object data down here, object data panel here, and uh, we have the different settings down there. We haven't talked about these uh, because uh, I think it's better that uh, we arrive at them when we arrive at them while uh, creating the object, other than just going randomly are talking about the different objects, the different settings that you might not even use. Uh, yeah, but uh, so the reason I brought up these panels is that uh, there is a panel that you can use uh, for your reference image. So you can see every panel here has this icon here, has a square icon at the top uh, like here. Uh, that represent what panel you have you are looking at, and uh, you can change uh, the panel you're looking at by changing uh, the icon you see there. So when you click on that icon, you'll get dro this drop-down list uh, that lists every panel you have access to in Blender, and uh, so we can change this panel to be a 3D view. So you just click on this, and uh, you can see we have the 3D view. Uh, this will give us this 3D view. Uh, if we want. We also have the image editor. Uh, this can be good when you're editing images and also can be good for just having a reference image uh, like this. You just drop it there. You just uh, select it from the drop down menu like that. And uh, if you render an image, you can also use it to preview your render results. Uh, but we also have diff every panel you see here can be found here. And uh, so if you want the timeline to be here, you just uh, look at the icon so that would be here or you just look at the name and I uh, see this is our timeline so if you want this you just change this to how is it called properties and uh, you see we have that so what property is this you can see uh, but uh, the panel we want is the image editor so that we have uh, this image as our reference image so that whenever we are rotating this view, we don't have to worry about uh, rotating the reference image as well. Uh, so you can zoom in and zoom out using the, your middle mouse wheel. Uh, you can also move this image around by using your holding down your middle mouse uh, wheel uh, to move that around. But uh, because as the same, I was facing some issues when I was uh, whenever I use the middle mouse, hold down the middle mouse uh, button, uh, after a few times, it breaks and uh, I can no longer use that. So what I do is, what I did also, switch this to this, to the accent grave or this uh, keyboard, uh, this key above your tab a button so that whenever I, I hold that down, I can move uh, the keyboard, uh, the, the view around. Like what I did, in this 3D view uh, because the same shortcut for this is uh, holding down your middle mouse wheel but uh, whenever I use that uh, after I use it a lot of times it breaks uh, the wheel so instead of using the wheel I just uh, switched uh, the key to this so to switch this to because it doesn't automatically switch when you switch uh, when you switch it for the 3D view uh, so you also need to go under edit preferences and then under input uh, for this view, it was the 3D view, so we need to do this for the image editor because the view we want to edit, uh, the, the shortcut here, is the image editor. 
So we go under edit preferences and then under image editor. So let's see, let's see. Is it image? Yeah, image, uh, image editor, I think. Image editor, yeah, you can see pan view. I changed that from, from uh, middle mouse wheel to this uh, key above the, the tab button. So I mean, let me show, let me find an image to show you what that is, keyboard. So this button here is what I'm using as the shortcut for that. It's what I said for, those short, for that shortcut. You don't have to, to switch that, but uh, if you want to. Uh, so whenever you see this accent grave, it's, it means that uh, it's the shortcut I'm holding down. Uh, so yeah, you can zoom in that uh, using your middle mouse wheel, that, uh, that is okay. So I guess we can also remove this so that we don't have to deal with that. Uh, so we have this already down. Maybe we can scale it in the wide direction a bit to have it look like that. Uh, so we also need this part here so we can just instead of adding a new cube and then editing it to fit uh, the same size what we can do is uh, maybe let's clear the rotation so that this is in the center so alt G to clear that and uh, if you hit uh, full stop on your numpad it will center the object you have selected into view uh, so we can just shift D to duplicate uh, the object like that we can duplicate the same object by holding down shift and then D to make a duplicate of that object. And now we can make edits to this object to have it look like that. So let's do that. Shift D and then we can scale it by using this gizmo. Uh, but uh, we want to scale it first in this Z and, uh, the Z and X plane by, by clicking on this green icon because uh, you can see this is a bit bigger and maybe just a bit and now we can move it in the y direction about there and now we can also scale this again around there like that so we're going to make very basic, a very basic shape of this and I will be refining it uh, step by step as I show you more tools. So let's use a curve uh, to curve to create this wire here. So let's go to top mode. By hit, you can hit Z or hit 7 on your keyboard uh, to go to top mode. You can also hit 1 to go to the front view or just click on this uh, Y axis to go to front view. Uh, if you click on that, uh, twice you just go to the back view or the opposite view of whatever view you're looking at. So if we hit Z, we'll be looking at the top view. If we click on Z again, we'll be looking at this top view. Uh, for so the shortcut for that is Control Z. Is it? Yeah, Control Z for the opposite of top. Uh, for the front, Control One. One for the front, Control One for the front. For the for the back, three for the side, Control Three for the other side. So let's zoom in and uh, let's go back to the top, uh, move this around. And uh, for this, we're going to be using a curve object. So shift A, uh, then add a curve, basic curve. We can move this around. So we need to edit this around, to edit this into this curve here. So let's go to object to edit mode of this. So the shortcut for the edit mode is just hitting tab on your keyboard. Uh, that will take you toggle between object mode and edit mode. Uh, so now we can rotate this. So if you hit R, you can rotate this control point and that will rotate the curve around like that. You can also move it by using G or just use these keys, these icons around here to do the same thing. You can also scale it down like that. Uh, so let's get this shape here. So you can see we only have one uh we only have two segments two control points but uh we need more to control to have this uh ring rotated around so you can see we have a few uh icons that we that we get in edit mode and uh, that 
those icons will change for every object you have so if we go to mesh objects like the cube and go to edit mode you can see we have more uh, icons or more tools uh, we have access to and uh, if we go to to the curve we only have a few so we have tilt we have draw we have extrude so if we hit draw we can draw any shape we want uh, so I guess that would make it even easier so we can just select everything if you hit a you can select all the control points uh, hitting a again or twice I will deselect everything or hit a to select everything or alt a to deselect everything uh, so we, we want to delete everything and just use this uh, pen tool to draw the curve we want so we can draw this like this and I can see that makes it very easy for us so then we can just come in and uh, start moving these points around maybe scaling them to get the shape uh, that we want so you can also go out of ob object mode and uh, scale everything You can also delete a point by selecting that point and then hit X, delete uh, that. But uh, we need that, so Control Z to undo that. And uh, we can rotate this, scale it. But say we only draw around there. So what? What if we want to extend this? So. You see, we, we had the pen tool and we also had the extrude tool. So when you select an ob uh, a point like this and hit and select the extrude tool, when you uh, select any part, when you drag around, say select that and then drag, you will make a duplicate of that uh, point still connected to the last point. So that's how extrusion works. And uh, we didn't need all of those. So we just, we just needed a few. So select that drag to make a copy of that but still connected and uh, now we can rotate that and then select the extrude again to extrude another copy and then move them around to have that but you see it's just a line it doesn't really have that uh, skin that you see that uh, uh, this wire has. So we'll look at how to add that in the next uh, video.